Hi guys, Katima Gaming here. Just wanted to give you my quick thoughts and quick reviews on the NBA Finals before I move on to PC and tech-related uh, videos. So hey, congratulations to the LA Lakers for winning the NBA Finals. Kobe would be so proud looking down from heaven right now. An amazing achievement in the bubble. Davis has proven finally that he is one of the best big men of this generation, but more significantly, LeBron James has proven that he is one of the greatest players of the this generation. I don't think that's arguable right now. He has officially won an NBA title for every team that he has played for. He didn't win it with the Cavs at first, but when he went to the Heat, he won it twice. Went back to the Cavs, he won it again, and now with LA. Oh man, this is considering that they did not make, LA didn't make the playoffs six years straight. Okay, and now all of a sudden they just won the finals. That's an amazing achievement. Um, but for the Heat though, wow, congratulations. I mean like, they made it an interesting finals. Heat has every reason to be proud of their playoff run. They have to keep their head up high. This was amazing. They beat every single team. Look at it in retrospect. They beat every single team that were seated higher than them. And therefore, on paper, all teams that were better than them. Okay? Pacers were disappointingly swept in the first round. Giannis and the Bucks uh, only won one game. Okay, and the Heat were just men among boys in the East Finals against the favorites, Boston Celtics. So, wow, they have every right to be proud of making it in the finals because they were considered not the strongest team in the East on paper. So in retrospect, this is actually much of a win for Miami than it is for LA. Heat made it to six games in the finals. Uh, Jimmy Butler was so tired in the finals. I could see it. He just, he was exhausted. I mean, like a game before that, he could barely make it off the podium after the interview, but he has proven that he has deserved every penny of that $33 million contract this year with a total of $140 million in the span of four years. Whoa, that's a lot of money. Um, looking forward to seeing Tyler Hero and Bam Adebayo. They have proven to be rising stars along with Robinson for the future, and surely expectations are higher for them in the next season. So this season was considered a great success, especially in the playoffs. So now the conversation goes down to, should there be an asterisk? A lot of people are talking about, oh, it's the bubble. You know, there should be an asterisk here because it wasn't a regular or conventional playoff season. To be honest with you, I don't think so. As a matter of fact, I think it was tougher. It doesn't, it didn't look like it, but it was definitely tougher, I think, for LA to win in the bubble, considering that they did not have any home court advantage. Think about it. Being number one seed meant absolutely nothing in the bubble for LA. There was no traveling needed. There was no home crowds to cheer you on. Teams could communicate better because the stadiums were much quieter than the, all that buzz going on with home court advantage, so less distraction. So it was definitely more competitive. This is why I think like teams were tougher to beat in the playoffs, and they were more competitive simply because no team had home court advantage, and they were just playing on the same courts together, guys. Cl look at it. Clippers loss to the Nuggets, for example. OKC managing to bring it to seven games with the Rockets. Uh, Toronto losing to Boston. Okay. okay, that was a little more competitive down the line. And of course, you see Miami being the third weakest team in the East, fifth seed, I believe, making it to the NBA Finals. They beat the fifth seed uh, Pacers, they beat the first seed Bucks, for example, and they beat the second seed Boston Celtics. So as you can see, LA Lakers made it look easy, but surely it was more difficult for them in the bubble, hence a well-deserved champion. Also, in my opinion, this isn't even the toughest or strongest lineup LA Lakers had in route to winning a championship. Of course, you have the greatest players of this generation in James and in Davis. But if you look at the entire lineup, it's not the strongest I've seen making it and winning a ring. Of course, you had Howard, you had McGee, pretty washed up already. Morris, Rondo, KCP, and Caruso were serviceable. Uh, Kuzma and J.R. Smith, ugh, those guys are chums. They're just in it for the ride. But that's it. LA's three-peat back in the day, for example, had Fisher, Kobe, Rick Fox, Robert, Horry, and Shaq 
in the starting five alone. And the last ring Kobe won was, was, was with Fisher, was with Meta World Peace. I think Lamar Odom was still on the team. Maybe he was straight already. I don't remember. There was Pau Gasol, and there was Andrew Bynum in his prime. Okay, so in retrospect, this was not this championship team that LA did to win was not the strongest team they've ever had in history. So I believe LA worked hard for this and they deserve this championship. Even harder in the bubble, because look guys, James is 35. Who was the last player you know at 35 years old who can still bring it on and make make men act like little boys? You know, I think Kobe, Michael Jordan, there are the, these are the only two I know <laughs> in their prime to manage to compete this hard and this difficult to defend even at 35. Melo was nowhere near his best at 35. Shaq was pretty washed up at 35. I mean, like, guys, this is just, I don't know what to say. I mean, surely um, you have to think that we don't know where James is going to go from here now. He's just reached the top. And I dare say, really coming close to Michael Jordan. <laughs> so what's next for LA and the Heat? I mean, like, let's just summarize it. I don't think Heat has anything to worry about. I think Heat should be very happy with their campaign. Jimmy has a great cast with them. They're probably just one star short of making a better run next year. But Jimmy competes, man. It's hard to say, though, where L.A. will go from here because we're still waiting for Anthony Davis because is he going to Chicago next season or is he going to sign a new contract? We have to wait. And I don't know about LeBron. I mean, he's won it four times. He's proven he's one of the best. I mean, what's left? What's left for him to prove that now that he's gone to every single team, he's making loads of money, he's one of the most successful players, athletes in the world? What's left? <laughs> you know? But I don't think that's important right now, though. What's important is that all of us are pitching in together to help kill off this coronavirus finally so that we can move on to a more normal NBA season next year. All right, that's my thoughts about it, guys. Thank you so much for uh, watching. Be safe out there, and I'll see you guys in the next season.